All right. So here is how you set up your blog in Moodle. In the Moodle course, and for me, my navigation tab is on the right or is on the left hand side of my page. Your navigation tab may be over here somewhere um, because that's something that you can move around and, and fit to your liking. So find your navigation tab. And when you open it up, you're going to look in My Profile. When you drop down that arrow on My pro Profile, you're going to click on Add a New Entry. And you can click on Add a New Entry even if you haven't put in an entry at all. Um, you're going to see that link for Add a New Entry. Okay? Once you click that, it's going to take you to a new page. You'll have your entry title. So for your first blog entry, I would use my fitness goals as my title. Um, and then in the body of the blog, you're going to type in your responses. You're going to type in um, your answers to all the questions. If you want to insert a picture, you're welcome to do that. And then you've got some emoticons here, too. And then if you have any files that you need to attach, I don't think we have anything like that for this one. Um, but that's where you would do that is here. It's really important at the bottom that you have it set to publish to anyone on this site. Okay? That way, uh, the other students in the course, Cassie and Emily and Lauren and, and Hamza and uh, Elise, you will all be able to see each other's entries and maybe even give each other some comments and feedback and encouragement along the way. That's not a bad thing at all. So the other way, if you, if you want to set up your blog outside of Moodle, um, this is really, it's probably going to be easier just to keep it in Moodle, but if you wanted to do it outside of Moodle, in your Google Drive, when you click on the apps up here, and then you click More, so every Google account has a blogger account associated with it. So when you click on that blogger account, you can write your blog there and share the link with us. So you can use blogger or you can use the Moodle. I would encourage you just to use the Moodle. It's easier um, and it's right there in the course. And you don't have to do anything extra to get it set up so that we can see it. If you choose to use blogger, this is how you get there. And then there is an extra step to make it show up in your course and it or in the course and it's that is explained in the blog um, instructions.